Now, to continue to part two, as far as No More Lies part two, as it's a lot of been a whole lot of miscomprehending and understanding as far as the truth about the color of Jesus and the color of the Israelites and the Jews. And like I was saying from part one, when the pagans or whatever came over here, the Greeks, the Europeans, like I said, it was a branch, different branch. When they came over here, like I said, they collected the scrolls. They already, when they invaded those people over there in Israel, and Egypt, and you know, all over there, they took the gold, they closed, this is that, they took the books, they, they prophesied the scrolls, trying to learn about these people. When they learned about who these people were, what they believed in, they tried to twist and manipulate what they believed in. So when they got a hold to those hieroglyphics, which like I said was originally, the first six books was originally hieroglyphics because Moses grew up in Egypt. When they got a hold to that, they ended up translating in English. When they translated in English, knowing the truth, like I said, of the Israelites' true color, the Egyptians, of the Ethiopians, knowing this truth, but tried to twist and manipulate it to the slaves like they were European, like they was white. Or I'll just say European. So trying to teach these slaves lies. Trying to teach them lies. Instead of putting up pictures of white Egyptians. I be as I watched on different movies about Egypt and I see white you Egyptians and I'm like, well hey, you know, it's it's just a movie, it's just characters playing roles. But put the truth out there, and this truth has been blinded to the black race or to the descendants of Israel, to the descendants of Judah, to the descendants of Egypt, Ethiopian, all within the black culture. So, as far as these projected lies of the Europeans trying to make a name for themselves, trying to make themselves become elevated because of Esau, in that prophecy in Genesis, you shall be away from the earth's riches. Meaning Esau was an outcast and from then on, Esau tried to make a name for himself by trying to take and conquer. And that's where Jacob told him, you shall live by the sword. And that's where that mentality of the Republicans right now today, always making wars, trying to make names for themselves, just like Esau in Genesis when he was an outcast and trying to make a name for himself because Jacob got all the blessings. Jacob got all the, the, the popularity, the wealth. So Esau decided, well, hey, I'm going to try to make something out of myself. I'm going to try to make myself some type of legend, some type of honorary person. So he ended up with the take and conquer mentality, just like the Republicans who are the modern day Romans or America, which is modern day Rome, period. And it's set up today. It's like I said, as I broke down and analyzed as far as looking up the word, the term ghetto. And how it was saying that, um, which I still have in definition too, an often walled court in a European city to which Jews were restricted beginning in the Middle Ages, how the blacks in their particular section and whites in their particular section. This is not a segregation or black supremacist message. This is truth being exploited, which has been hidden for a very, very long time. So that is why the Europeans that enslaved the Egyptians and so forth, the different tribes of people that came over here on American soil. That's why the Europeans forbid the slaves to read because they didn't want the slaves to read especially the Bible. They did not want them to read the Bible because they did not want them to know the truth. They only went by hearsay. So they was trying to get the slaves to just they was trying to get the slaves to develop trust in them to believe the words that they were speaking, to believe what they was teaching to the slaves, and they was teaching to them about their culture lies. They was teaching them about the Europeans were teaching the slaves the culture that they created for them to believe which is trying to get honor and trying to get praise towards the Europeans. So that's why they have a European depiction of Jesus. That's why they have European Egyptians when they do some type of autobiography or something dealing with Egyptians. That's why they have European Egyptians, European 
Ethiopians, Europeans, some of everything. Because the Europeans was trying to make a name for themselves just like those dang Republicans. So right here, no more lies to, and that's why I wanted to throw that out there. The truth is, Jesus was black. Jesus did come from a black a black uh, family or a black culture. That's why when he, he said he came out of Nazareth and there was a Pharisee or somebody said nothing good come out of Nazareth because Jesus came from the projects or the ghetto. When they said nothing comes out of good comes out of Nazareth, Nazareth was a place like Compton or the Bronx. That's how Nazareth was. So when they said he came from Nazareth, nothing good comes out of Nazareth. Okay. Last but not least, the final proof to finalize this, because like I said, I knew I was going to have to pull out that sword of truth. As it says in Isaiah, and he had made my mouth like a sharp and sword, and as it says in Revelation, a double-edged sword, a two-edged sword. And indeed, I am willing that sword to whomever I have to will it to. Last but not least, the proof that the Jews are black, or brown, or dark, complected. When a Roman Catholics who end up forming their own branch, a branch of uh, a branch of racist Roman Catholics known as the KKK, and the proof of that is if you notice on the Roman Catholics, you I mean the um, Ku Klux Klan uniform, they have a cross on them, and that cross looks like a Roman. Catholic cross, the red outline, the way it looks. If you look up on the internet site and study the cross of the Roman Catholics, also the Roman Catholics sometimes had the Nazi looking cross. So you had the Nazi coming a branch from Hitler, also trying to burn and kill and destroy Jews, and the European branch with the Catholic cross on their uniforms trying to burn and destroy Jews which were the black race which are the, the different tribes of Europe of Egypt of Ethiopian and all the mother natives that I have just named why do you think they only burn black people in this position like they up on a cross if you notice, every time they burnt a black person, they burnt them up on the cross, just like Jesus died on the crucifixion. Now, why would the Ku Klux Klan men burn a black person up on the cross? Every time they wrap them up and woof, out of their evil intentions, because you know where they came from? Are them burning blacks on the cross? They came from when their dog complete the Jesus that was on the cross, or that light brown Jesus that was on the cross. That's where they came from, were the Roman Catholics, the ones who tried to form their own branch and their own beliefs of how the church should be ran. The ones who put them up there. So this hidden truth which people don't know nothing about because yet they try to seek it from man instead of seeking it from God. The Europeans, the ones projected lies, trying to hide the culture from the black race, trying to keep them in that ignorant state so they can continue to be labeled as the N-word. But if they became wise and knowledgeable and educated, they could no longer be labeled as the N-word. That's why they tried to refrain them from learning the truth about their culture and who they was so the Europeans can continue to get the praise and honor that they was trying to seek and making names for themselves just like the Republicans. Where do you think the government came from? It came from the Romans. If you read in the Bible, it talks about publicans. It don't call it don't got Republican in front of it, but it got publicans. And those publicans was known for being evil people trying to make names for themselves in Star Wars. Now, if anybody wanna come up again, ding ding ding, I'm ready to box. Cause that's why I come on here for is God's prophet and that's his message is to speak the truth. So peace be unto those who wish to receive it in Christ for life.